not the case with my dad. I just feel more responsible for another human being. Um, yeah, because he's the kind of guy who's like, if we were in a burning building, he'd be like, uh, I guess we should probably go now. So I'm like, yeah, no, I don't feel safer. Um, I, uh, I have uh, a lot of health problems. And, uh, you know, I tell my mom she probably should have got a warranty because they've been trying to refurbish this shit for almost 33 years and it is not working out. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like the uh, last iPhone that the little Chinese kid made before he jumped off the building. <laughs> he's all right, they got that now, so he's good. Uh, because of all this shit, I live with my mom and uh, she's an interesting personality. Um, I used to wake my stepdad up and her up every morning. One day she woke up and uh, her clock was all fucked up. She comes flying into my room. She's like, oh my God, I thought you were dead. Straight to dead. She wasn't like, you know, sleeping or busy, just straight to dead. That's a, a good example of the whole soap opera thing. Um, anyway, so she says a lot of uh, really weird shit to me. Like, no one should know the size of their dad's dick. That is just disgusting. You know, she, and she always says the most inappropriate shit to me. Uh, you know, she's telling me my stepdad gets into bed with his crusty balls. Recently, she's telling me about how he keeps shaking his dick at her face. Thanks, Mom. I don't need to know that. The most recent and horrifying one was uh, she comes out of the bathroom and it's like, something's wrong. My pussy stinks. What? That is not... Why is my mother saying this shit to me? It's horrifying. It's horrifying. I, I'm not sure I can make a much larger list that I will in the future. Um, but uh, anyway, <clears throat> so uh, I think it's weird when people call the person they're like having sex with daddy or want to be called daddy. All I hear is daddy issues, and a lot of people got awkward when I said that. Um, yeah, it's 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 real weird to me. Uh, I uh, I don't mess around with a lot of. Uh, white guys, uh, I tend to go for, you know, uh, darker guys, whatever. Uh, I don't discriminate or anything, though. You know, I'm with the EEOP. I got that equal enjoyment and opportunity pussy. Affirmative action is unnecessary. Uh, well, that's not entirely true. I do discriminate against gingers. I'm sorry, especially gingers with a goatee because they look like centaurs. And I am not trying to fuck Mr. Tullius. I'm good with um, I, I usually tend to date younger guys. Um, you know, and I'm uh, getting a little older now. I'm about to celebrate my uh, 7th annual 27th birthday. And my older friends who had kids younger have kids who are getting a little older now. I can't believe you're messing with guys that are 20 years old. My son's going to be 20. Is he? Really? Is he single? Um, you know, I, uh, I also, you know, say I go both ways. So, you know, that one time that girl has in college, yeah, that's me. Your kids are not safe. No, no, I'm not praying on them because 20 year olds are very eager to learn and I think it is important for children to get a proper education. I'm an excellent teacher. Uh, I do a lot of online dating um, and I, tend, I could probably just talk for an hour about weird shit online dating. But I have a few little things that bother me. Uh, there are a lot of guys who have a picture of them with two of the same friends in every picture. Uh, and it's always the least attractive guy. And I feel like if you're gonna do that, you can't get mad when I ask for your friend's phone number. <laughs> I just kind of feel like that's what you get. Um, also, though, like if you're like like dating on Craigslist, you send pictures back and forth. I mean, you want to make an accurate representation, but don't you want to kind of impress people a little bit with okay? Because I think it's weird when dudes send me their mugshots, or at least it looks like a mugshot. You know, if you're looking like you are driving a white van around an elementary school with a pocket full of candy and a backseat full of dead hookers, I don't think I'm gonna date you. I'm just saying, you're probably not my type. Um, actually had a really weird experience recently when I was uh, doing some online dating. I'm a bitch, and when people contact me and I don't wanna talk to them, I don't. Uh, and I recently had a guy who was very persistent, and I thought I'd be nice and tell him I'm not interested. And he uh, decided to continue to push, ask me why, don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. So I told him, you know, I'm not attracted to you. To which he replied, well, could we just do it from the back and then you wouldn't have to look at my face? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that's extremely chivalrous of you and I appreciate the thought, but not two bags over your head. I'm sorry, that it happened. Um, and uh, I think that is my time, guys. Right? So thank you.